Welcome back to another episode of Mio in Texas, Saving Paradise. And today we might well see what a reform will do. Assuming I will get my legitimacy up. Because everything else I do. Yep, just the 90 legitimacy left. Whether or not this is a good idea, you can leave in the comments. I'm pretty sure what it's gonna say, but hey. Uh, ow. Execute the troublemakers. I can't do Oh, look at that. Right More maze. Nope. 88% chance of no effect, 12% chance of lose one stability. Please don't do that. Oof. Okay, I've got disloyal nobles. I'm not happy about. Apparently I might actually have some neighbors that I can invade because of the lakes. Oh. Oh, does that I'm gonna try. Tion on Uh, the Wian Yeah, the Orawa. Orawa. Oh, okay. And if I can take, uh, yeah, no, so I can probably take Iroquois. Right, this is gonna either be the best move or the worst move for the Mayan Empire. I am gonna go switch to a despotic monarchy. It's gonna tank my stability, it's gonna tank my admin power. But hey. Well, actually, checking the tribal nation modifiers, they're pretty bad. They are pretty bad, and despotic monarchy. Monarchy is better. It's just the, the minus two stability is gonna hurt me. I think. Yeah. But we'll see. I got armies left, right, and center, so hey. Might as well push the button. Oh, yeah, that's the stability drop. Minus two. Yes, my stability is low. I am well aware. Thank you. Decentralized to stabilize our nation. What does that do? Lose 10 absolutism for 50 stability points. National unrest minus 4. That's actually interesting. There's the stability increase in the wall plus 15%, and then there's the modifier minus 10%. Holy Snapchat. Uh, my in particular is now 24k. Oh my. <laughs> They're only at 25%, but Jesus. Yeah, you might need some help. I may or may not require some assistance, yes. Uh, we'll see. I guess I'll start making some transports. Stability increase interval. Oh yeah, that's something I can do. Let's go back to the policies. And there's my stability f 1. Thank God, I only need one more stability and I have zero again. Fair enough. And there's another province. Ooh. Uh, this might just turn out to be working. At some point, yes. Yes. 91. That was way Oh, I think I know why this uh, province of yours has mm. province trauma. There's the lesser nobles that are disloyal. They were already dis they were uh, disloyal just a bit ago, but not oh, okay. before. The, this the, it, this might be why they are disloyal, but they weren't disloyal before. That just happened. Okay. Never mind. Oh, Jamaica gets influx. That's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. So yeah, and I can't do anything about the lesser nobles right now. I can't promote them, I can't give them privileges, offer them favors. Stay power. Right, a few more months and I can make another colony. I was gonna do something. I forgot, almost forgot. Uh, aggressive policing. Early state reforms. Mediate internal disputes. Lose my diplomat. Yes. That's the one I wanted. 
Uh, and my car just drops like a rock. Currently 38. Okay, that's not gonna happen for a while. Decentralize to stabilize our nation. Oh, Diplomatic 12 gives you 25 colonial range. I'll just do that, so, so I can at least avoid that for a while. Um, yeah, that's an idea, and I'll do it as well. Decentralize to stabilize our nation. For 50 stability points and minus 4 unrest, I'll take it. And the stability of Maya improves. Nice! Phew. That was fast. <laughs> oh, welcome news. Okay, I'm now at zero stability. I'll take it. Oh, that's a colony. Um, no, I think I'm going to colonize this province. I actually can make a colony again. Let's see, can I reach Barbados? I cannot. I can, however, reach... No, I cannot reach Ignary. Huh. But I can reach... Curacao. It's a pitiful nation, though. I'll do it anyway. It's a nice jump-off point. Indeed. You can get the lessel and less. Mm-hmm. So, that's only one colony still to go. That's... Chipchan. After that, I can actually start coring those two Muisca provinces as well, so... Oh. How to please the lesser nobles? I mean, I could try and build something in your province. Local unrest minus 10, supply limit plus 5... Uh, huh, huh, huh. sure what to build there. I'll start with a commune hall. Yeah, it's usually a good choice. Yeah. Of course, it's a good reminder that having fishing ports at least in islands and such will help with the communication time. Yeah, that's uh, probably the next thing I need to build on uh, Cuba. How much is one? 137, okay. I can do that. Yeah, it's not too bad. How is my rebels, my provincial unrest? Oh, that's gone down. Okay. That means I can drop my army maintenance. Forts are already down. Well, at least I have enough transport to ferry over most of my armies now. Nice. Actually, I should be able to ferry all my armies. <laughs> and I do believe I have the biggest navy around here now. Well, I don't know. Did my army size change? Forgot to check. Nope, my army force limit is the same. I could actually make another unit if I wanted to. I don't know if I need to right now. Against those natives, I don't really think you need them. Well, there's the larger natives, but their military tech is 5. Yeah. Which reminds me, I should probably start fabricating claims on them as well. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, 
spread of disease. Oh my. Yeah, I guess I'll pay for this thingy. Oh, my monthly budget is currently because ah, okay. Six fourteen. Let's stop that for a while then. I know. Let's see what my monthly budget was at. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I should probably increase the state funding. I is confused. But yeah, my inflation is pretty high. It was 3.2, but I lower it to 0.2. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to uh, drop my inflation again as well. Cause it keeps creeping up to 2, and it's just making shit expensive. Okay, my leader that. died. Oh. Oh, thanks to our monetary benefits, oh, we've done God's work, we can increase our colonial growth. Maya gets monetary benefits until the 22nd of June 1413, global settlement increase, plus one. I'll take it. Yeah. Still confuses me a little bit how I could actually colonize Chip Chan, but not the rest around it. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, might be a different area. What's that? Oh, it's you mean the Panama area? It's still part of the Panama area, that's what you mean. Let's yeah. Let's see. There he is. Ah oh, yes, it is the Panama area. Just about. Nicaragua, Honduras. Well, that explains it then. Yeah. I should probably put my army maintenance back Hang up on. because I might be fighting again soon. Switch to feudal monarchy. Stability is at least zero. Admin power is at least 100. All of the following must be true. Is not Italy. Is not Piedmont Sardinia. Is not Germany. Is not Holy Roman Empire. Let's see. Lose 100 admin power. Type of government change to feudal monarchy, which isn't bad. Maintenance modifier. Ma -ma 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 -ma. Diplo relations. I do not seem to lose any stability if I do that. Ooh, that's nice. For another 100 admin, I will go to feudal then. Let's see, I have now currently plus 15 stability interval, plus 10% manpower and land force limit modifiers up by 10%. Okay. I think that's worth the no another 100 admin. Apparently I can't claim these provinces across the lakes. I am now a feudal empire. A uh, feudal kingdom. Yeah. And land maintenance fire minus 5%, fort maintenance minus 15%, and income from vessels 12.5%. Which is not that interesting, but hey. Yeah. It's at least something. Yeah. But I mean, these guys don't even have an army. Oh, hang on. This is gonna be easy. Civil war. Uh, has a legitimacy of at least 75. I have a looming civil war. Because oh I have my. overextension. So, that colony really needs to... No, even if the colony fixes itself, that's not gonna happen. Um, okay, let's see if I can fix this another way. Oh wait, they did have an army. 
just gonna fight uh, Nasus, I guess. Maybe. Hang on. Create subject state. Muiska. If I do that. Well, yeah, you can do that, but the next thing it will be pretty pain in the butt. But of course, probably not as painful as uh, Civil War. Yeah, I just removed them. Uh, they are now my vessel, which is perfect. But yeah, integrating them will take a few hundred years. Unless you can speed it up. <laughs> I'd rather frequently. integrate them and take a few hundred years than having to fight a civil war, which is just not gonna be good. Although I did lose a bit of legitimacy on that one, but at least I'm not overextended anymore. Mm, fair enough. So, which is the next one I can reach? It's probably gonna be. Uh, Still can't reach Ignori, so probably colonize this province next, and then start going to Manhattan area. Yeah, I'm gonna finish. No, I'm gonna move back in with one of the colonists because I can't reach further out until Higwe is colonized. Ah. So that's going to be one colonist working his way back to the mainland and the other two can work on the islands. Fair enough. Tyrona. Oh, hang on. Where's Tyrona? Uh, that's a siege. Oh, but I cannot call that so I can only take money from them. Oh, fair enough. Okay, no mission for me for the bow. Choose policy regarding a vessel. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, because I'm gonna need a core in here before I can do that, and it's progressing very slowly. Oh, he didn't like that. Okay. Uh, it's worth a shot. But yeah, at least this province will be core soon enough. Since there's not really a point for me to fight other than getting some money, I can probably turn my army maintenance pretty low. Hmm. Let's see. Currently not deploy guidance. Oh Jesus, they're all two or higher. And extremely expensive. Eh, uh, I don't think so. No advice for me for a while. That's gonna take four years to be called. Oh yeah, this is what I needed to do. I'm at a port there, but I should probably make a port in my capital as well. I think my capital does have a port. It does. But I just built one on Cuba. The solution present itself, reputation isn't everything. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna roll the dice on that one. Phew. <laughs> It was either oh, lose more legitimacy, and I don't have much legitimacy, so... Ooh, yeah. yeah. I'm at 37 right now. Fair enough. <coughs> but I'm hey, a I'm, a feudal, I'm a feudal kingdom. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm a medieval kingdom. 
Yeah. Now I just need some absolutism and I can actually start integrating my vessel. I'm also very poor. Okay, lesser nobles. Still can't do anything with you, can I? Nope. I'm guessing Talk is waiting one more year to declare war. Yep. <laughs> is that... Wasn't it exciting? <laughs> is that little zit there gonna, re gonna be removed then? I'd assume so. I mean, I think he has a mission for that. Probably does. <coughs> Ooh, build a great palace. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, it's 5 prestige and 20 legitimacy. For about 20 gold. I'll take one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I am screaming for leg legitimacy at the moment. Yeah, I'm back at 100 now. That's not bad. Although I'm in Regency, so there's that. Come on, lesser nobles. Get your shit together. Really? Let's see, what's this? Okay. So my run is done. Apparently I do have a cotton plantation, but I mean, I'm at that since I can't go to the lands. <laughs> to talk to you. Hmm. Oh god, that province trauma is painful. Yeah, I, I have no idea why that is there. Of course, people might have already commented in the episodes, but since we are recording these uh, back to back. Time. Yeah. Well, at least the local unrest is going down for that. Yeah. But I punched this guy yet? No, I can't. December, damn it! <laughs> yeah, half a year. In less than a year, I should be getting more colonies. Uh, yeah, mine is mine are working. That's about uh, the up and down of it. These lesser nobles, man. Is there a way I can see who owns what? Yeah, I can actually. Uh, oh wait, no, it's not an option in here. I think I'm actually gonna drop more behind in military tech for a while so I can get my naval ideas. I'm currently burning uh, my admin points even though I actually should be leveling them up. Because I need four more levels, I think. Yeah, I need to get, get to admin attack 12. Mm, so, thank you for the money. What? Talk is giving away money? Why well, he bought half of oh, fleet basing rights. Ah, yeah, that's always good. Well, military tech 13 for me. 13? Yeah, I'm only at 11. Somahawk warriors. Wow. Okay, yeah, I'll take him. Still don't know what a horse is, but yep. hey, I got Tomahawk. What confuses me is that I have the ability now to explore. 
Why can't I explore because my colonial range is too short? Huh? Like, you're not allowed to explore Terra Incognita if your colonial range doesn't reach it. Oh, okay. How That's are you... so stupid. How are you able to explore? Is that... It's an idea I have. Oh! Uh, it took exploring, but didn't take colonists. Right, yeah. You could maybe explore South America on the Pacific side? Yeah, but that means I'm just going to rebuild my ships on the other side. Yeah, fair. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, join us again next time when Talk finally starts punching people again. Maybe build some ah. ships and some colonies will be built once more. If you like this content, please like, subscribe and... See you next time. Bye-bye. See ya.